Hello guys on the Film Attackers and I'm doing a movie review. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I just got done watching the newly released HBO Max original movie An American Pickle, starring Seth Rogen and Seth Rogen. He plays two roles in this movie. This movie is directed by Brandon Trost and written by Simon Rich. And I'm basically going to go over the pros and the cons of this movie and tell you if it's worth getting an HBO Max free trial or getting a renewing your subscription just for this movie. So if you have HBO Max, you probably already watched it by now. They've been advertising the hell of this movie. Uh, this is a movie where Seth Rogen plays two roles. One Herschel, one Ben. Um, Herschel, the story is Herschel. He, uh, he's an immigrant from um, Europe who, um, after being mistreated, after you know having a wedding where a bunch of people were killed, uh, he decides to go to America, to New York. And this is in 1919. And, um, once he gets to New York, he gets a job at a pickle factory where he kills rats and gets paid a nickel per rat he kills. Well, one day after finding out his wife's pregnant, he was on the job and while trying to kill rats, he falls into a big barrel full of pickle brine juice and pickles. As he falls in, they close the lid, factory shut down, and he's trapped in there for a hundred years until some kids with a drone hits the lid, and basically sets him free. Now, they don't go over the science of how the pickle brine juice was, uh, you know, preserved him for so well, but it's a pretty funny joke they do in the movie. It's a pretty funny jab, like a narration, like, joke. But after being unpreserved and scientists find him, he's then met up with a relative named Ben. And from there, we got a story about religion, success, and family. Now, I didn't expect much going to this movie because I don't expect a lot coming from Netflix or uh, Netflix originals or Hulu originals. I know there's gonna be a certain quality I'm gonna get. You know, either gonna get the very good or the very horrendous. And I was really worried about this movie coming to HBO Max. I honestly thought this movie should have went to theaters. But with what's going on right now, it's understandable why they didn't do it. Now, is American Pickle good? Yes. In fact, this is probably Seth Rogen's best movie. Now, I'm a big, big Seth Rogen fan. I love This Is The End, Not Dub. You know, I even love The Interview, which is like probably his most controversial film. I love that movie. And I gotta say, you know, even after watching 50-50, I think this is his best performance. Because you get two roles from him. One where he basically plays himself, kind of-ish. It's, it's the acting role you expect from Seth Rogen when he plays Ben. But when he plays Herschel, you, you, don't, you can't even tell sometimes it's him. He does such a good job acting. And with his accent, he does such a good job portraying the role of Herschel. The acting in this movie is fantastic. You can tell director Brandon Trost really knew how to direct actors. And he got the best performance out of everyone he could on screen. Everyone does such a good job. <laughs> now, Seth Rogen's acting has been, like I said, it's traditional Seth Rogen. You know what you're going to get. You know, it's Seth Rogen every film he's done, which is fine. But like I said, it's Herschel. No doubt about it. He's phenomenal. In terms of cinematography, um, the cinematography is absolutely gorgeous. Um, they do a good job making this feel like a really, really theatrical movie for streaming services. Um, never really had an issue with any, no cinematography issues, no framing issues, nothing. It's, it was all fantastic in terms of the camera work in the movie. Um, the soundtrack is kind of samey. I think that'd be kind of an issue, but it's not really for me. You know, the soundtrack they use in the movie is what fits with the film, which I think is fine. It's not nothing's going to blow you away, but it's absolutely fine. The writing, the script, is beautifully done. Uh, like I said, they really convey the story of family, religion, and success very beautifully in this movie. And that's in, that's because of the writer, Simon Rich's script. They did an amazing job writing this movie. The story, um, it's really good. There's no really downfalls for me with the story. It's an hour, 30 minute that goes, goes, goes. It gets to the point. There's no detours. It's a straight shot. And that's what I like. 
In terms of cons, I can't really think of any. I think this movie is really well done. I think this is probably Seth Rogen. This is, to me, opinionate, opinion-wise, his best film. It's absolutely fantastic. You know, honestly, thought Fifty Fifty couldn't be topped. American Pickle topped it, and I'm happy to say that you know, if you don't own an HBO Max subscription, this is a perfect time to get a free trial to watch this movie. As I'm telling you, you will enjoy it. This is already in one of my favorite movies of the year so far. It was that good. Um, but if you guys via Max and weren't impressed with it, I would say pay for another month just to watch this movie. Don't watch it illegally off the internet. Support this movie. Watch it on HBO Max. I promise you, you won't regret it. I give this movie 5 out of 5. It's amazing. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. And honestly, the director, writer, and Seth Rogen... I'll be proud of the work they've done with this movie. That is my review of the movie uh, An American Pickle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I highly recommend the film. And I'll see you guys next time.